lighting up that soul music with Mr. DJ, outsourcing billboards Hot 100 of September 16th, 1967. Let's go to it right now. A group that had a number of soul hits before they crossed over on the pop charts. It is the Intruders. Baby, I'm lonely. Baby, I'm so lonely. The sound of Philadelphia, baby. It is the it is the Intruders. They debut at number 87 on Billboard's Hot 100. September 16th, 1967. The Intruders formed in 1960. They combined the gospel, the fervor of gospel with the traditional sounds of doo-wop. And they had this, they had a great sound. They had some great strings and, and stuff too uh, a little bit later on. The, the first, the Intruders. Now, here's the thing you got to understand about the Intruders. The Intruders were the first Major success story for Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff. Major producers, became major producers in the 70s. They produced all the hit records by the Intruders. And here's the thing. 1965, Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff, they're working for the legendary Cameo Parkway label, although that label was kind of on the downhill slide by then. Uh, I think it folded by about 1966. It was a huge label back in the early 60s. Bobby Rydell was on that label. Well, anyway, uh, Chubby Checker. I think Chubby Checker was on that label. But uh, Kenny Gamble and Leon Hump, they decided to leave Cameo Parkway, and they took a big risk in starting their own record label, the Gamble Record Label. And they, they put the bank. They put the money on the intruders. We've got to succeed with this group, or this group has got to succeed for us, and it worked. They had a number of R&B hits, and then came from cow from Cowboys to Girls in 1968, which went to number one R&B. But man, one of their most scintillating records. Remember, love is a baseball game. Man, you talk about some beautiful, almost angelic harmonies. Summer of 68, The Intruders, classic Gamble and Huff production in the late 60s. By 1970, Gamble and Huff, they went to Columbia Records and they said, can we start a label, can we start our own label under you guys? Look at our success with The Intruders. We can replicate this. And they started their own label under Columbia, Philadelphia International. Gamble enough. The Intruders, you might remember, oh man, I always love this record. Classic, early disco. Summer 73. I will always love my mama. Remember the remember the long version of that song when these the, the guys are just kind of rapping with each other, joshing around with e each other growing up. They talk about growing up and talk about their mom. Actually, that song was inspired by Kenny Gamble's mother, Rudy. Or was it Ruby? It was Ruby. But still, God, Summer 73, Always Love My Mama by The Intruders. But now this record right here, it did do as well. Went to number 28, top 30 R&B, barely top 30 R&B. And it debuted at number 87 on Billboard's Hot 100, the week of September 16, 1967. But it peaked at number 70 on Billboard's Hot 100 for five weeks. Sweet soul music, the intruders, baby, I'm lonely.